Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. The biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. <laughs> Just doing a bit of a quick couple of kilometers before we jump over to the step-by-step uh, -step beginners group. Hello, Kim Salt. Hello, Darren Evans. Hello, Steve Milne. On Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, this is the Film My Run channel and the Zwift Run Live channel. We've got one minute to go before the start, so we'll just get another 100 meters in, and then we'll go over to join the gang. Andrew Usher, good evening to you.
Okay, and off we go. So this is the step-by-step -step beginners group. I need to stop and then start again. I wonder what would have happened if I'd just kept running. I suppose I could have just kept on, couldn't I? Um, okay. Uh, Dan Mapp, good evening to you. Hi, Tina Beard. Pat does, Pat does fitness, hello. From snowy Connecticut. Hi there. Over on the east coast of the USA, northeast coast, Connecticut, next to Rhode Island, don't you know. And uh, Dan Mapp says flying along, not anymore, chilling out now. And then uh, Will B says good evening and uh, Hitendra, hello Hitendra. Nice. So this is uh, the step-by-step -step beginners group. So uh, primarily set up uh, for new runners, um, wanting to, a nice easy kind of start, a nice easy introduction to Zwift running, uh, but uh, you can join at whatever uh, experience level you are, whatever pace you want to go. Uh, Tina Beard is here, Paul Shaffy is here, Amy Green is here, Shukro is here. And uh, leading us off is uh, Ryan Perring. Um, I think the rule is that if you want to, um, if you want to join and you're an experienced runner, the idea would be to put a bit of extra incline on. You could do that, I guess. So we've got a half an hour run around Paris. Uh, we should get about four kilometers done. And then we'll go on a little bit after that and uh, just add a few more kilometers. So we'll make it 10 overall for the day. So I've done three, well, 2.9 I've done. Do another four now, so that's seven. And then we'll do another three, another three afterwards. A sunny girl, hello to you. <laughs> Ride on! John Heppelwhite, thanks for the ride on. Uh, so this is Paris. Uh, you might recognize the Champs-Élysées here. And just up ahead of us is Place de la Concorde. Uh, we can put the camera angles back on now. Oh, this reminds me of Eddie Izzard walking, walking fast like this. Ha! Also got, we've also got some milk. So Neil Messenger has got stage five and stage six left to do of Tour de Zwift. And uh, I know that you'll be delighted to learn that I have already completed Tour de Zwift finished my last one on Monday I think is it Monday or Tuesday I just had stage three left to do I'd missed out stage three so uh, just got that done this week so now I've got the official Tour de Zwift kit which you can see I'm wearing there you may also be interested to know that uh, if you've been following my Bluetooth issues um, we think, I think I've sorted them out. I think I have downloaded an updated driver from the Intel website. I think I have sorted out the Bluetooth drops. So fingers crossed uh, that they will not happen anymore. But we'll find out over the next few days. I haven't had one. I haven't had a Bluetooth dropout since I installed those drivers. So uh, let's see. Oh, Sebastian Vogt's with us as well. Uh, Hansen is there. Hunter is there as well. Michael, is it Michael Gould or Michelle? G oh, now I can't remember. Michelle Gould. Adrian Williams is there. Tall Boys is there. Lots of people we know running around the streets of Paris today. 
Uh, Steve Mill says, don't spill that milk. No, I won't. I promise you. I promise you I'm going to make sure it doesn't spill today. Kim Salt, you, you, well, don't hold on just a minute. Don't remove it from your bingo card just yet. Um, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent convinced, but I'm just saying that so far, since I installed these latest Bluetooth drivers, I haven't had a dropout. I am going to go for a couple of more, a couple more weeks before I um before I call it and say it's definitely sorted. Good evening, Clive. Where are you? Oh, I mean, you know, you ran this morning. You ran at lunchtime. Surely you should be running in the evening as well. Don't tell me you're going to do something later on. Oh, it's Adrian's birthday. Hello, Adrian. Happy birthday to you. So um, I am watching YouTube chat, Facebook chat, and Twitch chat where Sebastian is watching and Sonny Girl is watching on Twitch. Uh, Jonathan Cost uh, says, a, a big good, ev good evening pop pickers. Now, who, who used to say that, pop pickers? Alan Freeman, was it? No, no, I'll show my age. Oh, pop pickers. Yeah, I think it was Alan Freeman. Jonathan Cost doing his Alan Freeman impression. Um, right, Jonathan, are you, you're, you're on a standard PC with Windows 10, yes? Um, go to the, I would go to the Intel website and download their automatic driver search tool and it will, it will search your system and it will tell you if you need any new drivers. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think it is a chip. I think it is. Well, it depends what computer you've got, I suppose. Um, but it, it it may well be an Intel chipset that you that uh, you have. And if you do, then it might well be that you need Bluetooth drivers. Yeah. So it, you are on Windows 10. I, I suppose it does depend on the hardware in your PC. But go, go to the Intel website and download their little tool that will check your system and see if there are any, um, any drivers that your system needs. Because Windows Update doesn't often get the latest drivers. It doesn't find them, which is clearly what's happened with my system. Uh, I must tell Tim Gross about this as well, because it's happening on his system as well. Clive done tonight? If Clive's oh just finished long distance runners 5k okay long distance runners 5k in 19 minutes 32 seconds for Clive this evening so nice one um, and yeah is that a PB says uh, Jonathan uh, Santiago hello right on thank you Santiago says right on and Hillen, thanks for the ride on as well. Shall I turn the lights off and put coloured music dancing lights on? Let's do that. Let's do that. Hang on. Right. So we need to load up the Hue light system. Hue sync. 
Sounds like the name of a newsreader, doesn't it? And now we go to Hugh Sink for the latest from uh, Bosnia. Bosnia? What am I? I'm in the 1990s. Um, uh, light sink, start light sink. Turn these lights off. There we go. Oh, okay, so Clive's, Clive's PB is 1932, uh, but his, his run tonight was 2002. I see. Uh, Dan Mapp says Clive was flying tonight. Right, there's a question for you, Mr. C. What's the question? I can't see the question. Anyway, we're doing the coloured uh, coloured dancing disco lights now. And we've done one and a half kilometres. And we've got 18 and a half minutes to go of the Pack Social 5K. We've got Wado with us as well from the USA. Brennick from the from Germany. So two German runners, Sebastian and uh, is it Martin Brennick? Disco lights, Tina. Yes. And Osna from the USA. A couple of USA runners, Wada and Osna. Um, a few from Brit from Britain. Tina, Hansen, Ryan Perring, Amy Green. Kay Woods doesn't look like they've started at the back there. From somebody from Canada. Who's that from Canada? Kenny from Canada. Oh, Dan does that a lot, doesn't he? Dan is the, uh, he is the guy. He's the guy who pulls us along and helps us win. <laughs> well done, Dan. We love Dan. <laughs> Um, I've just set it to two, Sebastian. Just two percent, not very high. Just get a little bit of extra incline. Just to work a little bit harder. I mean, if you want to work, you know, we're going at eight kilometers per hour. So I wouldn't suggest putting up to 12, uh, like we do in the morning. But if you want a good workout, put it up to five or six. Oh, okay. Right, Jonathan says, uh, Clive just answered the question. What is Clive's PB? So Clive's PB is 1932, but tonight he did 2002. Uh, Jonathan just uh, completed Tour de Zwift tonight. Uh, still taking it slow as I have sciatic, sciatic nerve pain. Yeah, I've, I've suffered with that as well quite a few years ago now, but I've still got numbness on the side of my left leg. No pain, it's not painful, but um, I've got a numbness on the nerve on the side of my left leg. And also, um, when monitoring my um, stride, I do work harder on my right foot than my left foot. Not much harder. It's about uh, 48 to 52, something like that. 47 to 53, maybe, percentage-wise. But there's definitely a slight right right leaning in terms of work. Nice. Right on. Murphy, thank you. Let's just uh, speed up a little bit. Catch up with the back of the pack. Ryan Perring's four seconds ahead. Can't have that. I'm just about to hit two kilometers. Alfredo Mendez, no problem, buddy. Hope you got it sorted. So if yeah, if you want to work out, if you want to create your own workouts, there is a there is a system, a web a website called ZwiftWorkout.com. Go to ZwiftWorkout.com. Brilliant bit of software. 
because we at running we don't have our own inbuilt workout creation software in Zwift. The riders have got it, so the riders on their bikes they can go in and they can create their own drag and drop workouts. But we don't have that for running. And until recently, the only way to do it was to manually code your own workout, which wasn't too hard, um, but still required a bit of effort. However, if you go to ZwiftWorkout.com, you can now drag and drop a workout session, save it, and then upload it to your Zwift Workout folder. So you can create your own running workouts based on distance or time, not on power. We don't yet have uh, power-based workouts in running. <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time to kind of recover from that, Jonathan, so uh, just take it easy. That was uh, when, I, when I first suffered from sciatic nerve issues. Um, I had one episode where I had to call the ambulance because um, I literally, I bent down to pick something up and I couldn't get back up again. The pain was absolutely excruciating in my lower back. Absolutely horrendous. And I called 999, but there was nothing that the paramedic could do really, um, other than um, prescribe some painkillers or, or suggest that I go and get some painkillers. And uh, basically he sat on the sofa writing my notes well, because I couldn't, I couldn't sit down because it was too painful. I couldn't lie on the floor because it was too painful. I couldn't stand up straight because it was too painful. So I basically was hobbling. Oh, and I also couldn't stay still. So I had to keep moving, walking in a circle around the lounge, bent over halfway, holding my back. And I, I looked the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen in your life. And I'm sure the paramedic was absolutely rolling on the floor laughing inside because I looked so stupid. Sob story going on on the live stream. <laughs> Ryan, is there not always a sob story going on on the, uh, on the live stream? Just wait till we do 24 hours together, mate. You're going to be absolutely sick to death of me. Don't, don't say it. I know what you want to say. Don't say it. 24 hours. Hey, Ryan, you, me, Clive Finnimore, Ryan Downey, and uh, might be a couple of others. A solid 24 hours together. It's going to be horrendous, isn't it? Um, I, I don't know, Jonathan, but I guess over, um, over the years, I've I've done a few things. And two of those things that I've done haven't been very good for my back. So, uh, one being in a band and lifting for, for 15 years, lifting heavy amplifiers and speakers and music equipment up and down stairs of clubs all around the country. So I did that for a long time. And then working in healthcare, lifting people for a long time as well. Amateur streamer on Swift. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you are a funny guy. <sighs> right, Hanson. What's what's his first name? Is it da Darren? He's a, he is featuring massively now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight him. Hang on. Right. Let's 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 focus in on uh, on uh, Hanson from the UK. There he is. We'll give him a ride on. And uh, oh, where is he? Is, is he the one with the green? Oh my God! Are those his shorts? Right. He's got a heart rate of 113. I think if that's his heart rate. Steps per minute 151. Or is that me? Is that me? Hang on, let me just double check. I can never remember this. No, right, it's not me. So my steps per minute is 165 and heart rate of 118. Um, but Darren, 
Uh, Darren has a heart rate of 112, so very good heart rate. And uh, steps a minute of 152. Uh, let's have a look at who he is. Let's have a look at his profile on Zwift. Right, so this is Darren Hansen. Oh, he's got a private profile. That is annoying. Well, we can't focus in on Darren because he's got a private profile. Rubbish. <laughs> um, but if he has, he is he the one with the really short shorts, with the with the white uh, white hat on. That, we, that is now so passe. We were wearing that weeks ago. I mean, we've gone off it now. We've gone off it. Or maybe not, maybe, uh, okay. No, Darren is the one with the longer shorts and the, the orange headband. Darren. Oh, not, not Aaron. Darren, are you wearing an orange headband? Question mark. Right, we're just checking who, who Darren actually is. Which one is, is his avatar? I think it's... Oh, no, it could be. No, it could be the seal hat. Let's wait for his reply. See what he says. So it's either orange headband or seal hat. Uh, no, 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 no. Um... Oh, it is him though, no, yeah. It is him, okay, so that's, right, longer shorts. Okay, we'll let him off then. Heart rate has gone up. Look, now he knows he's on TV. His heart rate has gone up to 126 BPM. <laughs> um, Kim, Sel Kim Salt says it must be the short shorts that give him the low heart rate. Well, I think we've discovered now it isn't, that isn't him. I think we think it's the chap with the orange headband. And the black shorts and the green top with the grey beard. Yes. Yeah, yes, Tina, that's him. Um, uh, Kim Salt is saying, what, what race are we getting for the ZRS this weekend? I don't know. I haven't heard, to be honest, uh, Kim. Yes, I'd kind of forgotten that we've, we've, got, um, we've got ZRS this weekend, haven't we? Uh, Monica says, what's going on now? Right, let's have a look. Hang on a second. There's loads of stuff going on here that I haven't read yet. Right, Victoria, what do you mean you've spent 12 years with me? I know you have. Is that a bad thing? Um, oh, I see what you mean, 24 hours, yes. 24 hours with Ryan Perring. Uh, Victoria deserves a medal because she spent 12 years with me. So that is fair enough, yeah. Uh, yes, Sebastian's an amateur streamer. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I guess I am an amateur streamer. I just do it a lot. <sighs> uh, private profile runners should have wellies on, says Jonathan Cost. I've said it many times. Uh, we're still watching uh, Darren Hansen, by the way. Uh, 3.2 kilometres in. Uh, his heart rate is uh, settled at 120 BPM and uh, we are loving the grey beard and the orange headband. That's a proper, a proper ultra runner that is, isn't it? Orange, uh, uh, orange headband and a, a grey beard. Uh, DIY Tech Repairs, Daniel, hello buddy! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard! I haven't, haven't seen Daniel for a little while. Darren's just popped in to say, Daniel's just popped in to say hello. Over there, oh, now I'm going to forget again. I think it's Denmark. Over in Denmark, he says, not quite sure. It's definitely Scandinavia. I think, I think Daniel's in Denmark. You're going to say Norway now, aren't you? Um, Monica... <laughs> Monica says, if you want to, if you want to get fit, uh, just watch me twice a day. 
Just watch. Oh, no. Not Denmark. Not Norway. I'm in Sweden. Ryan Perring, how do you know? How can you remember Daniel? where Daniel lives? For goodness sake. I, I only missed out um, uh, Finland, didn't I? I should have said Finland as well. All right, Darren's had his moment in the spotlight. Darren didn't know there was a live stream going on. He does now. Uh, but he knows it's only, uh, it's only an amateur stream, so no need to watch, really. But we've got the disco lights on tonight. So it's looking good. Now, why am I so far ahead of Ryan Perring? Maybe it's just because I'm a, a faster runner than he is. He just can't keep up with me. Yeah, I've been, um, I've driven in a coach from Sweden to Denmark and then from Denmark to Germany as well. Although I was asleep for a lot of the way, to be fair. No, uh, Monica, uh, Daniel isn't in the run. Daniel is, uh, is chatting to me on YouTube and has done. Daniel is uh, an, old, an old friend who's been talking to me on the live stream for years now. What, three years maybe, Daniel? You've been popping in two or three years, popping in and out of the streams. And uh, he keeps telling me, I mean, at least I've now remembered his name. So he, he, comes, he goes by the name of DIY Tech Repairs. DIY Tech and Repairs, but... Um, uh, he told me his name and I couldn't remember it for a long, long time. Now I have finally got it in my brain. So I do know it's Daniel, but I still haven't quite got the country. Occasionally I remember, I know it's Scandinavia, um, but I think I do always guess Denmark and it's Sweden. So anyway, there we are. <laughs> Uh, Victoria put together a laminated flag decode sheet for daddy. I know, look, I know most of them. Most, I know all the obvious ones. I just get caught occasionally. And Marcus Holmes still wants me to learn all the US state capitals. So that's a project. Um, but uh, you can test me on any country in the world. I can tell you pretty much every country in the world. I can tell you where it is. And uh, every, ca every, every uh, state in the US, I can put that on the map. And uh, every county of England Apart from South Gloucestershire, which clearly everyone agrees doesn't exist. Why am I on my own? Where is everybody? So I was too far ahead, now I'm too far behind. Where have they gone? Come on. Okay, so Daniel says it was quite some time now. I don't remember when I started here but it was due to long runs you filmed and now you don't get rid of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so if you don't know, I do have a, another YouTube channel called Film My Run, um, where I, um, I make short films of all my outdoor running, my outdoor races. And so that's over on the Film My Run channel, where you'll also find the tutorials for all the Zwift uh, running. And um, this channel that you're watching now is only for live, live events. Uh, so on YouTube, th this Zwift Run Live channel is, is only for live broadcasts. Uh, thank you to Ryan for organising and leading the step-by-step -step beginners run 
We've done 4K. That's it, we're done. Let's carry on for a little bit further. We're gonna do another three kilometers with the guys. Yeah, see, Monica doesn't know the flags. Uh, but Monica's now trying to trick me She's trying to trick me into giving away my marathon PB, which I will not do. If you want to see uh, my marathon times, or my uh, marathon PB, or any of my run times, Strava is open and available to anyone to look at. Um, you can also go to my website, filmmyrun.com, and click on race results. And you can see all my marathon and ultra races. I don't include the 5Ks and 10Ks or half marathons because I don't really count them. So all marathons and ultras, I've got every single race result on my website listed in order. So you can go and have a look there if you want to. And you can reposition them so you can do them by distance, by time, by elevation. You can sort, filter them all if you want to. <laughs> Ryan Perring says, sub three is all you need to know. It could be 201, it could be 259. Uh, Leo Loughran says, where is Gabon? Okay, Gabon is in Africa and it is on the, never eat shredded, it's on the west coast of Africa. Um, kind of next to uh, Equatorial Guinea and um, Angola, that kind of area just over on the west coast of Africa, about halfway down, yeah, a little over halfway down. Zambia, uh, Zambia is next to Zimbabwe and South Africa, uh, central southern, central southern Africa. So if you go down, go to, go to South Africa and just go up, uh, it's next to Namibia, You're not going to catch me out. I know them all. Oh, all right, then everyone's doing 10 kph. Right, okay, I'll just speed up a bit then. Hang on. Catch up to the back of the guys. I'm too busy talking, Ryan, sorry. What a, what a surprise. Not paying attention because I'm too busy talking. Uh, Victoria, quite rightly, says nobody cares about your running. Yes, but people do care about where the countries of the world are. And I can help with that as well. <clears throat> so there we are. You can see how bright the lights are now. 12 kilometers an hour, 2% elevation. Just catching up to the back. Geography lessons from Stephen Cousins. I'll film my run. Right, Leo is now looking for... Yes, it is. Don't you tell me no. Right, Luanda, there is no country called Luanda. Are you sure you've spelt that correctly, Leo? I'm, I'm, I'm 99.9, 99.8% certain there is no country called Luanda. Rwanda, uh, Rwanda is next to Burundi. Oh God, if I'm in zone three, no, I need to come down. Heavens. Oh my God, no, we can't go in zone three. Actually, I've already spent seven minutes in zone three, look. So we don't worry about it. We won't worry about it too much. <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> Martin Harrison says he wants, to f he wants me to tell him where Wakanda is. Listen, I'll give you a Wakanda in a minute. There is no country called Wakanda. <laughs> 
Right, OK, then, if there is a country called Lu- Luanda, you've got me, you've caught me out. You can tell me where that is, then you win the prize for catching me out. But I... There is no country called Wakanda. Wakanda or Luanda, where are they? They do not exist. I don't believe you. Rwanda exists. Wakanda forever. <laughs> I will I will humbly doff my cap to you if a country called Luanda exists. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. You've got lots of um, Southeast Asian countries next to um, next to Australia called like things like Tuv- Tuvalu and Vanuatu and Nauru, Nauru and Palau um, which are like the closest oh okay yeah right if that's the capital it's not a country though it's the capital of Angola I said countries not capital cities I can't tell you all the capital cities of the world I haven't learned them yet there's too many mind you I suppose there's only the same number as countries which is a bit stupid of me really there's only one capital city per country, isn't there? So, I've just said the most stupid thing in the world. I hope nobody heard that. Anyway, I will learn all the capital cities of the world one day. Okay, so Luanda is a capital city. Capital city of Angola. It isn't a country. So I still win. Come on, Leo. Come on, you can get me, buddy. I know you can get me. The most obscure country you can think of. Djibouti. Ask me where Djibouti is. No? Um. <laughs> oh, what are you speeding up for, you lot? Goodness sake. Why, why do I have to concentrate so much? Okay. Yes, Leo, you've got, I give you that, but I did say only countries, not capital cities. I do like the word Wakanda. That should, it should either be um, a verb, or like a, I'll give you a Wakanda, like a, like a backhander, obviously. Um, or, or it should be the name of a should be the name of a country. Uh, Brunei, uh, Brunei is in Southeast Asia. Um, it is part of um, the the kind of group of islands that makes up the Philippines and uh, and Singapore. Um, yeah, it's just a little kind of it's a tiny little country in Southeast Asia, next to Singapore and and the Philippines. Or is it, hang on, oh no, hang on, it could be next to Malaysia. Um, is it Malaysia, not the Philippines? Yeah. Anyway, I, I know it's general area. You, it, might be, it might be Malaysia. So nearer to Malaysia than the Philippines. is surrounded by either Malaysia or the Philippines but it's that kind of direction or surrounded on three sides it's got it's got a coast as well uh, Borneo it, Borneo isn't a country uh, Borneo is a uh, would be part of Burma, or which is actually now My- Myanmar. Myanmar. So you, right, you could correct me if I'm wrong there. I'm, t- I'm pretty sure there is not a country called Borneo. I think the area that Borneo is in is now Myanmar. Myanmar or Myanmar, which was once called Burma. We're doing well. 
Paul Shaffey, where is the island of South Georgia where I work? Uh, South Georgia is in the Pacific. Um, uh, it's, uh, gosh, you work there. Are you in the Navy, Paul? Yes, yeah, South Georgia, Central Pacific. Um, kind of go go to uh, go to the Falkland Islands and go up. Also, um, wasn't South Georgia where didn't they send Napoleon there? Was it Napoleon who got exiled to South Georgia? Somebody might have done. <laughs> right. The Republic of Minerva, isn't that on a film? Isn't that like, um, isn't that Frozen or something? Or <sighs> Saint Helena, that was it, Martin. Thank you. Saint Helena was where, was where um, Napoleon was exiled. Yes. Right. Uh, Brunei is in Borneo. Is that right? Okay. But Borneo is not a country though. So is Borneo in Malaysia then? Brunei is its own separate country. Borneo is not a country. But I, I, I'm quite happy to accept if Borneo is in Malaysia or the Philippines or something. I didn't think it was, but maybe it is. Minerva, I don't... I reckon Minerva is a made-up country in a film. Something like Frozen or... What's that one about the princesses who switch places? Oh, that's... No, that's not Minerva. That's something else. I don't know. All right, then. Minerva doesn't exist either. That's not a country. It's not a real country. I don't believe you, Leo. I do not believe you. Come on, you've got one kilometre. You, you can tell me where Minerva is. If it really exists, you can tell me where it is. And if it, if it does exist, you win. You win a point. So I'm going to run on for one more kilometre now. And then I'll leave the guys to it. I think the guys are doing 10. Um, but I'll go up to seven, just over seven. Uh, Ryan Downey, hello. Nice. We're in the step-by-step -step beginners club. Uh, although the run has finished. Here, this is the after party, just in a few extra kilometers at the end. And uh, we're playing catch Stephen out with the country. Where is, where is a particular country on the map? If you can catch me out, you win a point. Um, we've had some interesting guesses. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to finally work out where Borneo is. I don't believe Minerva exists. And uh, apparently uh, we have, uh, we've also got a country called Wakanda, which is hilarious. Kiribati, well Kiribati is in, uh, in uh, South um, Seas with, uh, next to uh, Australia. It's part of all those group of countries like uh, Tuvalu, Palau, Vanuatu, Nauru, um, uh, Samoa, Papua New Guinea, Fiji. It's in, it's in, I couldn't tell you exactly where it is on the map, but it is near Australia, in those group of islands down there. Uh, Ryan Downey has just had to repeat a Tour de Zwift because he wasn't given credit for it. There's a few people had that, isn't there? One or two people have had. Um, some of their Tour de Zwift runs haven't counted and they've had to redo the runs. <sighs> okay, so the, so the Black Panther is from Wakanda. Okay, I've told you where Kiribati is, Leo. Were you not paying attention? 
near, near Australia, next to all those other little countries called Nauru, uh, Tuvalu, Palau, Samoa, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, it's near all of those. Yeah, Jonathan, I know it's, I know it's not a country. I know. Right, okay, Jonathan Cost says, the Republic of Minerva is a micro-nation of reclaimed land near Tonga. Okay, I'm interested in that. So Minerva, uh, reclaimed land near Tonga. Okay, so it's not officially recognized as a country by the UN. Uh, but uh, it is um, locally uh, claimed, and that's true also of um, um, Northern Cyprus is also uh, claimed as a separate country to Cyprus, and not Morocco. Uh, what's the country next to Morocco? Um, not Algeria, the other side of Morocco. See, now you've caught me out because I can't remember that country. Um, oh, damn it. Okay, there's a country next to Morocco on the west coast of, of Africa. And there's a, a portion of that area that's uh, claimed as a separate country as well. Lesotho, yeah, southern Africa, right in the middle of South Africa. Uh, so it's, um, you take South Africa, and uh, look, in, inside South Africa, there are two countries. Um, one is Lesotho and the other is Swaziland. But Swaziland is renamed now and I can't remember what it's called. Um, it'll come to me eventually. Van Augusta, Cyprus. Okay, yes. That's, is that Northern Cyprus? Uh, Jonathan Koss says, an American millionaire tried to set up the micronation of uh, Minerva, but failed in his attempt. Uh, Wakanda is a fictional country from American comic books. <sighs> so uh, Jonathan is a mind of information today. Uh, Kim says it's from Marvel Comics. The Marvel character Black Panther is from Wakanda. Okay, thank you. I'm not, I was never a comic reader. So thank you very much for that. All right, I'm gonna finish seven, seven kilometers done. And I did three earlier on, so that's 10K for this evening. And um, we've done that at 2% elevation, so there we go. Not much elevation, but a little bit. Thanks guys, thank you everyone. I'm off. Right, Sebastian's finishing there as well. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Enjoyed that. <laughs> right, Leo says, there is no way that you're getting this. Uh, and he, uh, he wants me to find Djibouti on the map. Okay, Djibouti is a tiny little, um, a tiny little country. Um, and it is on the east coast of Africa. And it is surrounded entirely by, I think, Ethiopia. It could, right, it's, it's, it's either surrounded by Ethiopia, Eritrea, or Somalia. I think I'm gonna go for Ethiopia. Uh, Steve Mill, thank you very much. Take care, buddy. But it is on, it is a tiny country dotted on the east coast of Africa and the northeast coast, um, kind of right next to Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. Um, I think I think it's surrounded by Ethiopia, um, but it's definitely up there somewhere. Okay, we're done here. We are done here. Thank you very much for that, everybody. That was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, but I will try and learn all the all the countries of the world capitals, and I will also try and learn all the American state capitals as well at some point. Um, 
No, Jonathan, the only comic... Do you know what the only comic was that I used to read uh, when I was younger, when I was a kid, was Viz. Do you remember Viz? In the, it was very big in the northeast because it was created in the northeast. And when I used to live up north in Sunderland, uh, when I was a teenager, uh, Viz, Viz was the comic to read. But I never, do you know what? I honestly didn't really ever get into Batman or Superman or or Captain America or any of those or the Hulk. Not none of those comics really really captured me. I, so I yeah, I've never really been a, a massive comic fan. I'm afraid. Leo says, have you got someone in your ear giving you the answers? I promise you, no, honestly, I just, I do enjoy geography and I, it is one thing I, 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 um, I kind of just seem to know really. I've, uh, I've, I've just learned it over the years. But like I say, like you caught me out earlier with the, um, um, with the, with the capitals, I, I don't, I don't know enough capital cities. I do need to get all the capitals right. Um, Viz is where Plug is from. Okay, I've, I, I honestly haven't heard of Plug. Only Viz. So, but it was the same. It's the same company, is it? Right. Look, I'm off. Enough waffle. Uh, we will see you all uh, tomorrow evening for something. I'm going to go on a long run tomorrow morning, and tomorrow evening we'll be back on um, with something. Maybe a quick one, or we may wait for Saturday to do a quick one. Uh, but we, we do need to do another fast run before the end of the week. So that's it. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Very enjoyable stream tonight. Well done to Ryan Perring for organising the step-by-step -step beginners group. Uh, do join that on uh, Monday and uh, again next Thursday. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.